How's everybody doing today? Hope everybody's doing fabulous. We got a, a chilly day here in Kansas City. We got about 40 degrees. And I think it said it feels like 32. It's supposed to get a little warmer this afternoon later, but I decided I was it was time to get out. I was needing some fresh air. Got done with my workout. A nice long 35 minute sauna. Roasting myself in there. And decided it was no better time than the present. Yeah, it's a little chilly. Get my maps on here today. How's everybody doing out there? Hope you guys are doing as well as I am. I'm noticing all the stores are getting that cr Christmas rush feeling going on. I can only handle so much of that. Christmas shopping. Hope y'all are doing really well. What's everybody been up to? Tweak my visor a little bit here. There we go. Well, I'm sure everybody's out getting uh, getting their shopping done like they're supposed to, and uh, everybody but me is probably done. I need something to get for my wife. She keeps buying herself her own you know, her own gifts. I'm gonna go out and find her something. I'm not gonna say anything because she's probably gonna she's probably watching this video, so I'll try to surprise her with something. Well, we haven't had much winter like weather. We've been getting down in the thirty around the thirty degree mark. And uh cows out here today. Is that cows? No, it's not a cow. What is that? Is that a llama? <laughs> what is that? That's got to be a llama, isn't it? <laughs> I thought, oh yeah, those are llama. Yeah, they sure are. Look at that. Man, they smell something terrible. It smells like a, <laughs> it smells like a major petting zoo right there. Another llama farm over here. Who would have known? Ah, yeah, that looks the same. Huh. Interesting. But yeah, we've been getting down, oh, in that 30 degree mark, even high 20s at night. Some days we get 40 degrees during the day. Today was supposed to be up to 50 but not for a few more hours and it doesn't even feel close no sun no, I guess it's peeking through a little bit right now but been pretty much overcast overcast and cold but 
you know, things are good. Christmas plans coming up soon. Everybody getting to see family. I got my daughter coming in town. I can't wait. My youngest daughter's out of school in, let's see, she's got one more. Uh, today's a full day and then tomorrow is a half day and she's done for two weeks. They get two weeks off. Isn't that wonderful? Ah, oh, look at this. These guys got horses right in front of their house. That's cool. I had to get out of the house today. Got these horses all wearing their blankets. <laughs> They're, that's cute. I had to get out of the house, get some fresh air, get out and shoot a little footage. I was missing it. I'm definitely addicted to riding. I am addicted. I uh, got a second pair of jeans uh, last week. They're from their uh, company Bullet. They're much, much cheaper. They were only about, uh, I think they were $90. It was the sale price before I got, uh, I had a 20% off coupon and I think I had some uh, Zilla cash on Revzilla. So I spent all of that on it and I think it ended up costing me 60. And I already had a, uh, I put that set of uh, D3O ghost armor on, or in those pants, and man, they're, they're really comfortable. They're pretty good. They're not as good as my uh, Roker jeans, but I don't think I'm going to run into anything that's better than my Roker jeans. You know, for, what was it, a fifth of the money? 60 bucks? The other ones were 300 plus. That's the only I was planning on that being one of the only pair I had, and I was right. Because when I even got one more pair, my wife was like, "What do you need another pair of jeans for?" I'm like, "You want me to wear the same pair of jeans every day that I ride, even in this summer?" She's like, "Oh yeah, I guess you're right. Yeah, you probably should have at least two. <laughs> oh man, I've never been this far out. We'll go another couple miles and turn around. It's a neat little area though. I we got beautiful houses. It's amazing how far out how far and stretched out Kansas City is. These houses look really familiar. I think I've rode this one time. I do think I've rode this one time. Because I remember that house right there being three colors. That with that white uh, color in the front there. That I think I've been here one time. I may not have been riding, I might have been uh, out driving with my wife. Yeah, man, my, yeah, I've, I've definitely been here once, I remember that. I think I'm going to turn around and go in there. I might have done that once. Give me a convenient turn around here. Good a place as any but anyway so I got my second pair of jeans now I'm down to needing one item I need only I need a pair of winter gloves my hands are frozen that is all that is really holding me back to be able to ride out it's almost as cold as I want to go I've got a uh, thermal vest on underneath this bell staff Crosby today decided to wear the bell staff it's a little longer I thought I'd give it a shot compared to my compared to my leather with the thermal liner in it and they're very comparable warm warmth wise I think my jacket's plenty warm got my neck gaiter on that's keeping that my neck is nice and toasty the only thing is my fingers the backs of my fingers 
just frigid. Ah, this is really nice out here. Ah, they're building something new up on that hill. That's going to be a beauty. Look at this. Oh, wow. Look at that pond right out beside their, all these houses. Ah, it's beautiful. Rolling hills and some nice ponds. Man, I would love to live. I don't know if I'd want to live out in the. I don't know. It's not really the. It's not the country. I know anybody that lives in the country would laugh at me for saying that. But when you're used to having neighbors on every side, wow, that's pretty. Isn't that something? Look at that view. Look at that view. Wow. beautiful yeah I'm used to having neighbors and I like my neighbors all of my neighbors are fabulous people I tell you I lived in a neighborhood before we moved to where we're at now in Staley Hills and I did not know a single neighbor and I lived there for six or seven years and uh, we moved over here to Staley and the fir very first day, I had three guys come over and say hi to me. And, uh, you know, they're like friends now. These are guys that they said, hey, you need a tool, anything? You need help unloading? Are you guys, you know, moved in? It was, it was incredible. I mean, the nicest bunch of people. Just phenomenal. That's one of the reasons I wouldn't move. It's hard to find that kind of nice people to live beside. It's a lot easier to get stuck with some people that are grumpy and I don't know. I don't really have I don't have any kids out playing in other people's yards and throwing rocks and any of that stuff. So I probably wouldn't run into any issues. Man, that's a neat looking house right there. I love that thing with that white rock in the front there looks like white layered rock beautiful but yeah I, I don't think I'd have a hard time with just about any neighbor but it's just nice to run into people that are friendly that that want to offer you a hand and you know are willing to come over and introduce themselves the first day I move in like excited to get a new neighbor <laughs> so yeah I wouldn't trade it my wife's always out looking at new houses. Every time one goes on the market, she's got to go check it out. But like I said last week, man, the, the houses, that's a beautiful tree. Look at that thing. Uh, houses only last a couple days on the market, so you got to be one of the first people to look at it or it's gone. I mean, and, and you have to hurry into making that decision. So... I don't know. I moving is too much, and that's a hassle. Man, this is the prettiest area that I've rode through. I think right here to not this part, back behind me there. Man, that was that is something. I've got to I've got to come out here more often. That's beautiful. I just love it. coming up on my camels my camel lots up here actually they're they're not camels they look like camels but they're llamas when I first saw them I thought they were cows and then I thought no wait is that a camel no it's a llama <laughs> man that's a that is a brisk wind right there About a 20 mile an hour wind today and it's 40 degrees so yeah it feels feels below freezing
channel's been seeing a little bit of growth here lately. I think I'm uh, up to 181 subscribers as of this morning, so not too bad for my little channel. I wanted to congratulate Bug on hitting 500. That's pretty good. Saw his funny video this week. He's a natural. But yeah, thanks everybody for watching it. If you like my content, leave a like. If uh, it's your first time here, please subscribe. I'll try to put out something uh, relaxing and we never get overly stressed out here. You don't catch me flipping anybody off while I'm riding around and complaining about all their driving. Well, I might complain a little bit, but you know just a little bit I try to stick to pause stick to the positive side little Shetland pony there what a cutie yeah here we are back to the llama llama field again over here man we are going straight into the wind that is cold yeah I think I'm gonna I'm going to make a concerted effort to get some warm gloves. I'm going to race right home and edit this footage a little bit, get this video up, and then I'm going to make some. I want to make some Korean ribs tonight for the family. Yeah, that thing, he got a little fired up at me. Did you see that? Nice. He liked the Vespa. He likes the white Vespa. He looked shocked to see me. Did you see that face? Man, that wind is just, we're right in the teeth of the wind. Probably blocking out a lot of my microphone. We'll see. I haven't been wearing my chin curtain in my show here, my Glamster. Yeah, I'll get home and edit this, throw it on, and uh, hello to everybody. I may make another one here in the next couple days. It's supposed to be nice and warm tomorrow, so I might be in for back-to-back -back riding days because they're getting few and far between and we're supposed to have 50 degrees tomorrow so I might actually wait for it to be 50 though. Today I'm out here at 40 and it feels like 30 before this wind I'm riding into. I don't know what I just saw blow across the road here but it wasn't Bigfoot so that thing right there, a bag. And I tell, look at this, people throwing their, look at this furniture, people dumping their furniture on the side of the road. All right, now I could get fired up. People dumping their trash. Just go to the edge of town and dump your trash. Hard telling what people are thinking. Don't they realize someone will probably take that for free if they'll just set it outside their house, and set it on their driveway and put a sign on it that says free? And someone will just come get it. Probably somebody that needs some furniture. All right, no more venting. Ranting and raving, just like I said I wouldn't do. We have a lot of beautiful Christmas lights around our area. We went to Kansas, my wife and I and her family, her extended family, her sisters and stuff. We went to a Christmas kid, uh, like a Christmas, uh, what would you call it? 
like a Christmas display area, like where they, they have like a little festival, I guess, like a Christmas festival. And everybody was, oh, there's pretty, look at that. They got some decorations out in front of their yard. But yeah, they had a lot of lights, but it was cold. And lots of picture taking. It was fun, good, always good to see the family get together with them. We don't get together with them as much as we used to. Here's, here's some reindeer. They're not lit up yet. It gets really pretty in here at night. Almost all of these houses have lights on, so. Sometime I'm gonna go for a night ride and get you a view of some of these Christmas, uh, get you a view of some of the Christmas lights at night here. Spread a little bit of the Christmas cheer. Guys, I'm gonna wrap up this ride. I appreciate y'all watching, and uh, if you like the video, please leave a like and subscribe if you're new. And uh, I promise it won't be long, maybe a day or two. I'll have another video out, and uh, then I'll wish y'all a Merry Christmas, all right? Thanks for watching, you guys. I'll catch you soon. Bye-bye.